Ashley Prosper stated that the SEC's response brief is expected to be submitted on March 13. It is intriguing that Ripple's business information is now accessible to everyone. False information was circulating regarding the Ripple case at that time. Ashley Prosper, known for using XRP, used the site to clarify the situation. Prosper has until February 20 to respond to the case. Ripple must comply with the court's order and submit its financial records promptly. The brief stated that the bank information would be disclosed to the public on March 13. The SEC desires alterations at that juncture. Some XRP users are upset and want Ripple's perspective on the matter. Pay close attention to the judge's words. Contrary to popular belief, Torres will not be the one making decisions in April. According to Prosper's estimates, the results report is due on April 29th. This is a component of the strategy to repair it. Prosper anticipates that the court will reach a definitive verdict in July or August thereafter. The judge informed Prosper that the decision would be postponed until the next year. In April, he stated that the matter involving SAC and Ripple would only conclude if both parties reached an agreement. A settlement may have been reached at any point, but legal experts indicate that the SEC has not displayed any inclination to conclude the matter since its inception. Ripple will face challenges that may hinder the launch of new cryptocurrency projects. Ripple has emerged victorious in the majority of the games, preventing the boss from doing this. The courts determined that XRP did not qualify as property and ruled that the firm managing cryptocurrency transactions had the authority to sell it through various methods. The SEC dismissed all allegations against Chris Laren and Brad Garlinghouse. Both men were responsible for managing Ripples. The SEC requested a midterm review from the court last year, but the request was denied. The SEC distributed XRP to corporations more effectively than Ripple did. The court sided with the government's argument that Ripple must demonstrate the speed at which its money transfers occur. The records must be submitted today at the very least. February 20th crypto platforms and banks will be prohibited from selling XRP once the report is released. This is the most intriguing section. They will continue to exist in 2022. In addition, the company will disclose its revenue from selling XRP to major retailers in December 2020, three months after the SEC's lawsuit. Today is the deadline for this task. Tomorrow, Ripple will be prohibited from selling XRP to companies. According to the SEC, monitoring cash flow is crucial. An upcoming significant event is expected to utilize XRP to perhaps improve the planet. Currently, just 5,000 XRP are destroyed daily. That amounts to 1.8 million XRP annually. However, there is uncertainty among some individuals over the wisdom of incinerating all the XRP that has been immobilized. It is said that 25,000 XRP are burned daily, suggesting a potential increase in this pace. Excellent some individuals speculate that this could be related to Ripple security measures. This appears to be more than a mere conjecture derived from the statements of a former Ripple executive. It was suggested that both Ripple and XRP would simultaneously lose all credibility, exacerbating the situation. Ripple has announced its intention to repurchase assets totaling about $1 billion. This is the location designated for storing supplies. For what reason are they repurchasing it? Ripple still requires a significant reduction of trust which could manifest in several ways, some may believe that the enticing offer from the corporation influenced Ripple's decision to purchase and potentially led to the loss of trust assets. The buyback will proceed as planned. Quantity of XRP in order for Ripple Labs to remain operational and assist affluent family members in generating additional income, the price may need to hit 10,000 XRP. As an employee at Ripple Labs, I am knowledgeable about these matters. XRP uses it to monitor all their recent commercial agreements. If Ripple were to spend all of its surplus funds, each currency would be valued at over $10,000. Multiple studies support this claim, stating that Ripple's cross-block payment occurrences will generate $110,000 in XRP. XRP may require a higher price. Ripple needs XRP to facilitate global connectivity among individuals. It is globally utilized, and there is widespread acknowledgement in both the public and private sectors that it has experienced rapid growth. A study revealed that BlackRock intended to use XRP for cross-border money transfers. 
XRP is rapidly emerging as a global method for individuals to transfer money to one another. According to the Irish Central Bank, XRP is currently accepted for cross-border transactions. This demonstrates Ripple's reliability in handling your digital currency. It enhances the coin's durability. XRP will consistently be a secure and practical payment method. Many individuals have the belief that this is the future operational model for banks. The Bank of Japan currently transfers funds to foreign countries using XRP. XRP has arrived. Over 30 central banks are collaborating to facilitate the distribution of digital currency to these entities, as reported in a study by Leading Edge. 19 major banks reportedly spent more than $9 billion on XRP. This figure does not consider the possibility of the Fed approving the XRP Quick Payment Service. The Federal Rapid Payment Network intends to incorporate XRP into the blockchain component of their payment infrastructure. There is no mystery here. There is a growing number of individuals who have faith in XRP technology and its potential applications in the financial sector. This applies to all products developed by Ripple Labs, not just XRP. This is crucial. Individuals are expected to refrain from purchasing. The business will need to undergo significant changes. Ripple is preferred for commercial transactions due to its safety, speed, cost-effectiveness, and environmental benefits. This is the XR. This proposal originates from over eight distinct major central banks, heightening its significance. The BRICS are one of these collectives. They are renowned for their open-source distributed ledger technology and innovative methods for transferring funds internationally. There could be additional benefits associated with this plan. Star Lumens is a blockchain-based payment network that integrates with FedNow. This network enables global corporate transactions to be conducted faster and at a lower cost. Let's review the initial two primary points again. The value of Ripple Labs SCOW account may increase, perhaps resulting in RP being valued at $110,000. Combining these two components will significantly impact the development of the XRP digital asset. This Ripple's high level of trust is leading to a significant amount of XRP being burned. Put simply, the cost might exceed $10,000. As a director, he informed the business that it may potentially eliminate all the XRP in its trust wallet. The events are becoming increasingly thrilling. Crucially, you must be aware of this as it impacts the discussed payment plan. Currently, that type of burn is being considered as a method for Ripple to settle with the SEC. Increasing numbers of individuals and companies are transferring funds to foreign nations through digital assets such as XRP. Consequently, there is a high demand for the coin, potentially driving its price to $10,000. It would be cost-effective to reduce the amount of XRP used. In other words, XRP should have the capability to facilitate all types of transactions. Subsequently, the value of each XRP coin is expected to exceed $10,000. Ripple's innovative concepts are distinct from the cryptocurrencies it is currently facing challenges with. That concludes my remarks for the moment.